game number one is getting underway right now with RDU versus Dog. They're going to set the pace for this one early, and this first game, very important for both of them. Look, Ooh. RDU just right away. Got to bring Druid. You know, Druid always been a big talking point for HPL so far. Uh, but to see RDU playing Druid, I kind of like this from him. You know, we talked about how he was falling off towards late at stages of the game. Yeah, he hasn't been able to, you know, really utilize his man on turns like seven, eight, and nine. He's getting there and he has like a two drop left over, maybe a hero power, but, you know, he's floating three, four, five, six mana in those turns. And it's really hard to win games where you're not doing anything or not doing enough on turns, you know, seven, yeah. eight, nine. Instead of just having to make the late game push, he's looking for something bigger. Dog, he's come prepared Ooh, for this Druid. Is that, that a Black is, Knight? That's a Black Knight in his deck, a very big nod to how popular Druid's been coming. You know, you actually said this yesterday in your interview, you asked Dog, when are we gonna see Druid from you? You're so known for Druid and with, you know, a draw like this with Wild Growth and Innervate in it, you gotta love his chances. Yeah, the thing, the thing that he might not like though is the fact that RDU is gonna come out very early on the board. You know, turn two shade next Ramus, this is always a threat against Druid. And turn three shade next Ramus, gonna be no exception to that. But, but you look know what's at really that hard to deal with? Back to back draws. He drew Wild Growth and then he drew Emperor Thorson. His turns are looking beautiful in this game. Yeah, and RDU, I'm just, let's say, I'm gonna look at this draw step, has no way to answer this Emperor Thorson no, it's here. It's gonna get at least two triggers from it, and that's a major deal right now. You know, if say, say Dog picks up a five drop this next turn. He's gonna get a lot of mana, not only mana out of this, and damage as well. Yeah, and RDU's gonna have to be committed to resources. There's that oh, five drop. Oh, what a draw. Here's gonna be able to protect. I wonder if he ever charges this here. Uh, I think that's a little ambitious, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's totally fine. You only leave yourself open to, to one single card swipe. Uh, uh, that would be a pretty rough one. Now, is going to avoid that, and now RDU has got his work cut out for him. This is going to be taking nine more damage unless he wants to trade in both of his shades, and he has to give a third activation over to Dog on this. This could be a disaster. Yeah, the only thing going forward that you can say for RDU here that's a good thing is Dog only had two to three cards in his hand every time this Emperor went off, so yeah, he's got cards that are practically free now, that are super cheap. Look but at this sequencing from Dog, too beautiful. Attacks his Druid of the Claw in first, able to draw a card off of this uh, Wrath instead, but now he's in a really difficult position because he's one mana off of being able to use this Ancient Allure and Hero Power perfectly, but he is going to Ancient Allure here. I don't blame him either. The two extra cards right now with Emperor Thoris on, they mean a big difference. Wow, even just going to trade in his Emperor Thoris on. He's, he's just, a he's just trying to end this game as quickly as possible. Yeah, I mean, a big enough board presence is going to be a big factor in this game. Third activation from Emperor Thoris on so far. Yeah, it's getting to the point now where it is, it's getting redundant. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what can RDU do about this board position, too? I mean, Savage Roar can help him clear out some stuff here. But I mean, it's, Savage Roar's not even good here, honestly. I mean, do I you mean, want to attack a 4-4 four, four Shade into a 5-2 Emperor that's already activated three times? Yeah, that's, I mean, the, the problem is he has to start dealing with this board state. state. He can't let dogs around. If Dog has something like a Savage Roar, I mean, he's just dead. Yeah. Like, he, yeah, he, he can't deal with it, so he has to deal with as much on the board as possible. I think what you're going to see is him deal with three different minions this turn, leaving Dog with something like just Ancient of Lore in play. You know, the other thing too is like, say that he would have just traded in these two shades and then dropped this Druid of the Claw in, in taunt mode. Whew, that would have been ugly. He's gonna Savage War first though, so this is gonna help him clean up this board position, but he cannot feel comfortable about what's happening. He just invested a lot into getting this done. Again, these shades were innervated out. Yeah, going forward though, you know, Dog only has three cards in his hand. You can hope that one of them is missed because we can see that one's a wild growth here. Now he does have an Ancient Lore, he does have a Druid of the Claw, so he has some game going forward. And then if something weird happens, you do have a big game hunter just in case, you know, some gigantic minion comes out. There's that Dog would have drawn the, the Savage Roar. This is so brutal for RDU too. He gets to take out the Shade with just his hero power and then five more points of damage. RDU's going to have to taunt this Druid of the Claw, I think, and then he's just going to die because of Black Knight. Yeah, this Knight. Black Knight is going to be backbreaking here. Yeah, I mean, what can you do about this one? Dog has just been so prepared in this match so far. RDU looking like, is this going to be a heal? Oh, he's going to draw cards. I mean, he's this is a desperate dig. He just has well, to hope yeah, that Dog doesn't have anything. Yeah, you have to take a risk anything. here, yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. He just has to hope Dog doesn't have anything, and he just happens to have Savage Roar. He's going to end this game. Just what a start from Dog. Turn two, Wild Growth. Turn three, Innervate, Emperor Thorson. I mean, it is tough to beat that draw. It's almost impossible to beat that draw, but one little thing I want to mention here. Dog didn't have to show him Black Knight in this game. Yeah, oh, that that's a very big talking point, actually. You know, RDU doesn't know that this is in his board right now. And so, you know, say he plays this match again as something like Ancient War in his deck, he could just get completely caught off guard by it. 